Today I'm gonna find out if a five speed is really all you need to play a full round. And to do that, today I have two of the exact same disc, which doesn't actually happen often for me. And so we're gonna test out this theory with the prototype. Oh man, that was way inside. Nat in my eye, great first throw. I just hit the luckiest gap ever. So when I got these in the mail, the package actually came from London and there was like, an address that looked like where it had been shipped from, but then there was like another address where it actually was shipped from. So I didn't see who it actually came from. And when I opened it, all I saw was this mint color. And so it kind of snaked me. And that's why I had a snake in the beginning and I'll tell you what they were right away. But these are the sea turtle from ocean discs, 60% recycled plastic from the ocean. These specifically are the marine ocean waste plastic. These are the ones that are 60% recycled. The numbers for it in this plastic, for the sea turtle, are 55-11. In their other plastics, they're 5501. They reached out, asked me if I wanted a review of them. I said, heck yeah, sounds like fun. The plastic, when I first got it in, I reached out back and I was like, hey, I got them. This plastic is unique. And they're like, I hope unique means good. And it's like a mix between a premium like neutron from MVP mixed with electron is how I would describe it. So like a putter plastic mixed with like, you can't see through premium plastic. That's, that's what I think these are like. And it's cool because I was like, I would love to have more higher speed discs that are in this soft putter plastic, but then also you want them to not beat up super fast. So maybe this would be a good mix. I think we'll find out today because I'm for sure gonna hit trees. If you watch my Make Minus Eight series or anytime I play this course, I usually just take this high hyzer route with the overstable disc because it's safe. Uh, since I have two of them, I'm not trying to lose one, not at all, but I'm feeling a little bit more risky today. So I'm gonna take, oh, we got a little head right to left or right as well. So I'm gonna take like the high and hyzer route over the trees and see if I can get to stall and hopefully push farther than my safe hyzer shot. I swear I'm not trying to lose one. This one, I threw my backyard, and so it's already a little bit scuffed. Threw a couple times, just to test them out. All right, baby. There's the cutest, like, corgi blue healer mix walking towards me. Oh my gosh, stop. Oh shoot, that stalled way faster than I thought. It's gonna drop straight down, we're gonna be fine. We're not fine. I really just did that first, second hole. All right, here, we're playing the hyzer route. I cannot believe that. I thought I would put enough on it. Hi, how are you? Can you swim and go get my frisbee I just lost? So I played that out to be like, it was a really dangerous shot. And it's not like a safe shot, but I was 95% sure that wasn't going to happen on that throw. Like this wind is coming so strong left to right. And it was on Anheuser like, Dang, I, I'm kind of at a loss for words right now. Hopefully it landed and floated over, we can grab it. So I have what's called a circular polarizer on my lens and what that does is when I turn it, you can kind of see through the, oh my gosh, did I just find it? Is that it right there? All right, well, we're down to one disc. There's some kids fishing. I saw one of them try getting in the water. Maybe I'll offer them like 10 bucks, even go in there and find it because it's not super deep right there. It's just muddy and, and gross. We're just gonna skip ahead to the next hole. So the point of this video about, is a five speed all you need? I'm, I travel a lot, at least I'm about to start traveling a lot more again. And sometimes I can't just bring like a little bag with me because of other stuff I have to have. And then sometimes I just don't want to, even though I can. I usually always bring a glitch with me because I could go play a little course with that. We can always play catch with that. I just have a disc with me just in case, right? But you know, there's some times where you want you want a little bit more than just a little glitch. So I think the five speed is that perfect all around disc that you could just have a neutral one with you at all times and just be able to go play any course. And, and especially if you don't take super, not super risky shots into water. Hard one to film, we're just going for it. I'm throwing everything super safe now. Super safe was actually smart. It's great that this kind of feels like putter plastic.
Another reason you might just want to bring up five speed is because five speeds just help you get better at your game. Like if you're trying to work on getting your forehands better, which I am, cutting the wobble out, or really just like working angles, something that's straight and not super fast, so you're not gonna have a lot of left to right movement. Also not too slow where you, you want to reach a little bit farther right. It's great to have, but out of the box so far on a couple of these throws, I feel like this is closer to that 5501 than a negative number because I don't really think I'm getting turn out of it. We're going to put on a little bit of a, a little baby flex. Oh, I had a telephone pole and kicked me left. Also, I decided after I film this video, I'm going to go back over there and I'm going to get in the water and try and find that because it wasn't that far in. It's just gross, but I'm going to have time to go home and clean up before I go pick my daughter up from daycare. So works out. And I wore sandals here originally, so I don't have to worry about having wet feet, putting socks back on. That's great. Wet feet and socks are the worst. Oh, wow. One thing I don't know if uh, five speed will help you with is getting better at putting. All right, gonna try and throw this flat as possible. Hit this straight in front of me gap. I, you might be able to see the basket on the left side, but it's not really like too important. We're just trying to watch the flight right here. Just like that. Yeah, you see how much that's getting that's downhill, left to right still, and it's wanting to fade like a lot sooner than I'd expect. I would definitely give it more of like a 5501. We're gonna see two holes from now if it's actually more like a 5502. Which if it's like a 5502, this is not the best disc to, to shoot this. This is a five speed, the best disc for what? I might have to change the title of this, I don't know. Also, if it sounds like I'm sick, I'm not. I'm just allergic to pollen, and it's everywhere. All right, I got you super zoomed right now. Straight down this gap to the left, the basket's on this side of this tree right here on the frame. Should be the perfect disc for it with how it's been flying. Just gotta make the perfect shot. I just smoked a tree dead center, like, you couldn't see it, but I'm gonna go get that one and throw it again. I don't know if that was low, but it like dropped out of nowhere. All right, what do we got to report? We like nailed this tree, completely nailed. Let's see if we can find out where. Uh, maybe there? I don't... Huh, all right. What I'm saying I smoked, the... oh, here it is. Oh, it's not even that bad. Like, what I'm saying I smoked that tree, it got rocked, like, but it's not, I'm impressed. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Yeah, that's not staying up in the air like I'm expecting it to. I'm, I don't know if I'm throwing two nose down or something, I'm not sure. <sighs> That'd be great, throwing two nose down, Psh, easy fix. Let's go. Quick behind the scenes of YouTube life. I've had this whole tripod forever, but sometime last year, this thumb screw, which adjusts the tilt of the fluid head, it snapped. Like the metal snapped on the inside. I bought this in 2017 and two weeks ago, I was like, hey, why don't I just email them and see if they know of a fix to replace it? Because I'd love to use this one again. Manfrotto sent out a whole new fluid head. Like all I needed was how to get the screw out and replace this piece. But this is 130 bucks just by itself. And seven years old like they just replaced it so shout out to manfrotto i think i have this whole thing linked in my camera equipment in the description along with everything else i use to shoot videos so i know some people are interested in that every now and then and i'll toss it in but yeah shout out to manfrotto this is my first time using this back since last year and i remember why i liked using it so much it's 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 much better in my opinion than a ball head like that you can just twist all the way around this one rocks for video all right guys you super zoomed in again i'm going to throw this one as flat as possible, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it perfect the first time or not, so I'm gonna put this in slow motion mode. Let's see the release out of the hand and then see how the disc actually flies. We have a tail left to right. It's like almost perfect diagonally. So if I get the nose up or if I get the nose down, like we should see some push from that wind and also it might make it a little bit more overstable. Something else I've been doing is working on getting my elbow up in the air more as I, in my form because I used to not think about it and I'd swoop a lot. So it's kind of been helping out. We're actually going to see if, in slow-mo if it helps out or not. 
that was Hyzard. That left or right definitely kept it a bit more straight than I thought. I want to throw it one more time here. This is such a fun hole. Not rethrowing that one. Let's do a little flick with it. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? 12th try. <laughs> if hole two on this course wasn't my nemesis, this hole definitely is going to put a little bit of flex on this one. Oh, I threw that flat, didn't I? That was a very straight shot. I'm taking back what I said almost about the the zero two. I think maybe I was throwing like hyzer this whole time and not realizing it. I don't know. You probably know. By you, I mean the person watching this right now, you and and me editing this right now, who saw all the other shots, especially from the slow motion ones on that last hole. That's where we're gonna. Yo, what's up, Isaac? Not Robinson. I wish. <sighs> Okay, so if you're a brand new player, I definitely suggest going and getting a putter that feels good in your hand to putt with, but then also getting a five speed that's straight to understable. Understable meaning like it might have a little bit of turn to the right when you throw it. So like if you huck it this way and it goes a little bit this way, not a bad thing, especially when you're first starting out, definitely go get something like that. If you are more like intermediate player and you're feeling like you've been in a funk, go pick up a neutral five speed and go play around with it. It's gonna teach you so much. It's gonna help you fix the things that's not working for you in your game. And it's also gonna be something where you can just go out, take a disc, have some fun, like forget everything else, forget about the options in your bag and just throw the same disc for a whole round. And if you do it and it doesn't fix it, like gotta work on mindset. If you're an advanced player, like MPO level, playing on the pro tour, don't listen to it. <laughs> I say because I have nothing to help you with but if you want to be on the channel and like come teach and stuff like you happen to watch my videos that'd be fun too we're gonna throw one more I'm just gonna do a little hyzer shot with this really short hole and then try and go find that disc in the water so if this video helped you please give it a like if you're not already subscribe join the flippy fam I don't so normally I do an intro and tell you my name and I do a backflip and it's kind of the play on words for flippy James I didn't really I don't really want to am I recording Yes. You've been watching Flippy James Disc Golf. Hey! <laughs> I should wait till the end of the round. That felt way better than any of the flips I've done beginning of videos. Also, if you're new and you're wondering, like, you just do a backflip to show off, I, my, like, main job before what I do now, not YouTube, this isn't main job, I was in the circus. Worked with Cirque du Soleil for, like, three and a half years. I jump on trampolines, still do. That's why I travel more often sometimes, like what I was talking about on hole three. So, fun fact about me. Oh, short. Almost got a birdie, though. <laughs> Before I forget, Ocean Discs has a Kickstarter, I believe. If it's not, whatever it is. I'm going to leave it in the description. They asked me to. They didn't, like, pay me any money to do any of this. I like the plastic for this disc a lot. It's grippy. It's 178 grams, this one. And I, I know the other one was, too. They were the same. And so, OceanDiscs.com. PDGA approved. Even got a spot for your phone number on the back. If you uh, want to support them, I don't know where they're going to ship it to you from since mine came from London, but like the color's cool, straight to stable mid range, good disc. This is not how I wanted uh, my day to go here. Uh, I wonder how deep it is. This is muddy. Today. Oh, is that hair? We got it back. <laughs>